In this video, I'm gonna do a full tutorial for our new integration, Inner Circle Prints. I'm gonna go over how to connect your Inner Circle Prints account, how to publish the products over to Etsy, and how to create templates on Holocustom for those products. I'm then gonna go over to Etsy and buy the product, that way you can see what happens on Inner Circle Prints after you click the Approve button. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is connect Inner Circle Prints to our Holocustom account. So to do that, we're gonna click onto the bottom left navigation, Click on to connections and at the very bottom, you will see inner circle prints. Go ahead and click on to connect. From here, you're able to accept the terms and conditions and click on grant access. All right, so your inner circle prints account is now connected to Hello Custom. We do display the name of the Etsy account that is associated to that inner circle prints account here. And if you have more than one ICP account, you're able to connect the second one by clicking onto the connect button here. So now that we've connected our Inner Circle Prints account to our Hello Custom account, we're able to go over to Inner Circle Prints and create a product. So if you already have products that you want to connect to Hello Custom, that is okay. In this example, I'm going to create one from scratch. So I'm first going to click onto the catalog. And in this example, I'm going to create a Christmas ornament. And I'm going to connect it to the following Canva template. So I'm going to click on Start Designing. Paste in my Canva URL here and click on add to products. All right, perfect. So now I can go over to the products tab and I'm gonna go ahead and publish this over to Etsy by clicking onto the icon here and click launch to Etsy. Select my shipping profile. And then you can set this as active or draft. In this example, I'm gonna set it as active and click on launch. All right, perfect. So now we can go over to our Etsy shop and edit the Etsy listing. All right, perfect. So this is the product that we just published over from our Inner Circle Prints account. I'm not gonna go over how to optimize the listing, but I am gonna go over how to add a SKU to the product so that way it works with Hello Custom and how to turn on personalization. All right, so once I click into the listing, I'm gonna scroll down to the SKU section. So this part is super important. So Hello Custom needs a SKU to tie a graphic to a product. If you already have products created with Inner Circle Prints and do not have SKUs associated to those products, you will have to kind of backlog and add SKUs to those products for them to work with Hello Custom. So in this example, I'm gonna give it a unique SKU. I might call it O for ornament dash 001. And then lastly, I'm gonna turn on personalization and click on publish. Now that we added the SKU to the Etsy product, we now have to add that SKU to Inner Circle Prints. So I'm going to click back over to Inner Circle Prints. I'm going to click on to the icon here, click on Link Etsy SKU, and type in the exact SKU, capital O-001, and then click on Link Product SKU. All right, perfect. So we went ahead and created the product on Inner Circle Prints. We published it over to Etsy. We added a SKU to the product on Etsy, and then added that SKU back over to the product on Inner Circle Prints. We can now go over to Hello Custom and create a template for this product that way the graphic is automatically personalized and added to your order when sold on Etsy. So I'm gonna click back over to our Hello Custom account. I'm gonna click on to the templates button here. And to create a template for this product, I'm gonna click on add new in the top right. And this is where you can add a PDF of your product. So I'm gonna go back over to our Canva template. I'm gonna click on share. I'm gonna click on download. File type is going to be a PDF print. You can keep it as RGB and click on download. And then you can drag in that PDF here. And what Hello Custom is doing is taking that PDF and converting it back into an editable template. This takes about five seconds to do. So as you can see, Hello Custom was able to take this PDF and convert it back into an editable template. So the first thing that you need to do to create a template inside of Hello Custom is to give it a title. This is for internal purposes only. So for example, Christmas ornament and then the SKU. The second thing that you need to do is tell Hello Custom what product on Etsy does this graphic belong to. And to do that, we're gonna click onto product variants where Hello Custom is gonna grab all of your products from Etsy, sorted by active, inactive, or draft, where you can click onto the product and then it's gonna pull in the SKUs. Uh, leave all the SKUs associated to this graphic checked. That way Hello Custom knows when this SKU sells on Etsy, use this graphic. Click on update. The last thing that you need to do is tell Hello Custom what inside of this graphic needs to be personalized and we do that with tags. So I'm gonna click onto this element here. This is gonna be a name element. I'm gonna set the max allowance this is essentially how wide would I like the text to get before I want Hello Custom to dynamically make the font smaller to not get any wider than these two boxes here. When personalized, I want it to be center aligned and no other special effects. And this text right here is going to be a name. The next personalization is this one right here. 
I'm going to set the max allowance. I also want it to be center aligned and no other special effects. This one here is going to be a date. And that is it. I'm now going to go ahead and click on publish as active. In this specific example, I don't need a transparent background because it is going onto a white product and click on publish. Perfect. So now whenever this product sells an Etsy, Hello Custom knows to use this graphic to personalize when displaying for your approval in our approval queue. So for example, we can go over to Etsy to this product. And again, this is an unoptimized listing. And let's say that the shopper typed in, can the name be Samantha and the date be 2024? Hello Custom is going to take this order and find Samantha as the name and 2024 as the date to personalize this graphic and display it for your approval in our approval queue. So I'm now going to go ahead and buy this product so you can see this happen in real time. All right, perfect. So Hello Custom received this order, personalized it, and displayed it for our approval in our approval queue. We call these approval cards. Approval cards are on a per order basis where you will see a thumbnail of the personalized graphics side by side with the Etsy order information. You see the product, the quantity bought, any variations, and what the shopper actually typed in. In this case, she typed in, can the name be Samantha and the date be 2024? She also added a note to seller, can I get this by the 20th? Hello Custom took this information and personalized the following graphic. As you can see, Hello Custom uses the correct font, color, placement, and best of all, the correct personalization. If for any reason you want to download the graphic, you're able to click onto the three dots here, and you can download the graphic as either a JPEG, PNG, or PDF. If you need to edit the graphic for any reason, you're able to click onto the edit button, where the graphic will show up in our editor side by side with the Etsy order personalization request. Where you're then able to make any edits to the graphic, click on save, and then the updated graphic will be associated to your approval card. So from here, you can either approve the graphics first and then pull in the orders to enter school prints, or you can pull in your orders first and then approve the graphics. In this tutorial, I'm gonna pull in the order first. I'm gonna go back over to Intercircle Prints. I'm gonna click on to orders, and then I'm gonna fetch orders from Etsy, where you can then see that order appeared right here with no graphic associated to this order. I can now go over to our Hello Custom account. I'm gonna click on approve. I'm then gonna come back over to Intercircle Prints, and I'm gonna refresh my orders tab where you're then able to scroll down and see that this personalized graphic has been added to this order. Please note that sometimes it takes a moment for Hello Custom to take those graphics and pull them over to Inner Circle Prints. So feel free to click Approve, wait a minute, and then come over to your Orders tab to click Refresh, where you will see all of the personalized graphics associated to your orders. From here, you're able to then approve this order where Inner Circle Prints will then fulfill the product and ship it to your customer. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at hellocustom.io.